Hello, friends. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will discuss income tax brackets and filing statuses in the United States. By the end of this video, you'll better understand how these tax brackets work, the different filing statuses available, and how they affect your tax obligations. So, let's get started. The U.S. federal income tax system uses a progressive structure, which means that as your income increases, you pay a higher percentage in taxes. This is done through tax brackets, where different portions of your income are taxed at different rates. There are currently seven tax brackets, ranging from 10% to 37%. Remember that these brackets are updated periodically to account for inflation, and your taxable income is used to determine which bracket you fall into, not your gross income. Taxable income is calculated by subtracting deductions, exemptions, and adjustments from your gross income. Now that we have a basic understanding of tax brackets, let's discuss filing statuses. There are five main filing statuses in the U.S. 1. Single. This status is for individuals who are unmarried or legally separated. 2. Married filing jointly. This status is for married couples who file a single tax return together. 3. Married filing separately. Married couples can also opt to file separate tax returns. This might be beneficial in certain situations, but can also result in a higher tax liability. 4. Head of household. This status is for unmarried individuals who pay more than half the cost of maintaining a home for themselves and a qualifying person, like a child or other dependent relative. 5. Qualifying widower with dependent child. This status is for widows or widowers with dependent children who meet certain conditions. Your filing status will affect your tax bracket thresholds and your standard deduction amount, which in turn impacts your tax liability. Now, let's see how tax brackets and filing statuses interact. Each filing status has its own set of tax bracket thresholds, which determine the range of taxable income subject to each tax rate. For example, in 2023, the 22% tax bracket for single filers starts at $44,725 of taxable income, while for married couples filing jointly, it begins at $89,450. This means that depending on your filing status, you may pay different taxes on the same income. Additionally, standard deduction amounts vary by filing status, for example, in 2023, the standard deduction for single filers is $13,850, while for married couples filing jointly, it is $27,700. This difference can also significantly impact your overall tax liability. And there you have it. By understanding how tax brackets and filing statuses work, you can make informed decisions when filing your taxes and potentially save yourself some money in the process. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or confusion on filing status under U.S. tax law, please write in the comment box, and we will reply. Brought to you by IRSTaxApp.com. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future tax tips. See you next time.